Welcome back, everyone. Sakaga Wea is known throughout history for her leadership, helping the Lewis and Clark expedition through the Rocky Mountains all the way to the Pacific Ocean, all the while taking care of her two-month-old son, which was, I'm sure, no problem given the conditions. Um, <laughs> exactly. Sakaga Wea is how we are saying it, based on this a new interpretation from the Shoshone, but we grew up saying Sacagawea, right? Exactly. Same person, mm -hmm. just correct pronunciation. It's mm -hmm. only fitting that a Milwaukee group that recognizes women in leadership roles has an award in her honor. And here to tell us more about the Professional Dimensions uh, Chicago Wea Awards event is Valerie Johnson. You have an easy name to pronounce, but <laughs> correct. It was <laughs> interesting because Amy and I were both asking you during the commercial break. You know, we know it as Sacagawea, but it's Chicago Wea. Chicago Wea, Chicago Wea, Sacagawea, if you go old school, or in Professional Dimensions, we shortened it to Sacky because it's easier. <laughs> so, what is it about um, Chicago Wea, this woman um, who's part of our our history. Why is she somebody that, that, that is, it's appropriate, in your opinion, to name an award after? Well, as you said, here is a trailblazer, a, a wife, a mother, someone who was leading an expedition into the unknown. And the Professional Dimensions idea of the Chicago Way Award, which started in 1982, um, when there weren't very many visible women in leadership, allows that image of that strong, independent, accomplished woman to shine through. So we thought it was appropriate to name the award after someone who had those qualities. Women's organizations are at the forefront now, but talk about your experience looking back, as you're saying 1982, to how you've seen that develop in women's leadership. I feel like we've seen it really develop in mm -hmm. the last 20 years. Right. Well, think about it. In 1982, we certainly didn't have any women on the presidential debate platforms. Um, you had less visibility in any of those leadership roles. And as women have changed in their careers, their professions, Professional Dimensions has also allowed those accomplished professional women to be able to meet people in other circles that they would not have come across in their ordinary lives and have an opportunity to be mentored, uh, become mentors, and have the experience to share their commonalities as well as their differences. Let's talk about this year's winners who will be recognized and celebrated at your event and what they've do, done to help our community. We have two fabulous women, as we always do. Um, Catherine Gale, the former president and CEO of Gale Foods, and Sandra Botcher, who is the VP of uh, Facility Operations for Northwestern Mutual. The easier way to describe that is she's in charge of the big building going up downtown. You know, it, and who are we looking at here in this photograph? This is Sandra. Okay. And um, tell us about her contributions. Um, one of the main things that stands out about Sandra, all of the words that have been used to describe her are leader, mentor, um, very, very uh, aware of the women's roles. But in her role with the um, NML building is that they have recycled and they have hired local labor. So it's the impact on the community has given jobs to a lot, a lot of people. There's also a theme, it seems, of generosity of women towards other women. And that's different from when I started in the business. I feel where women were very much pitted against one another. Mm -hmm. And it, it seems like it's really changing that we want to work with each other and for each other. Mm -hmm. Correct. The idea of women supporting each other, bringing each other up to make everyone better, I think is, is part of the women's nature, if we want to be a little biased, a little warm and fuzzy, um, and allow everyone to be successful. Because if we all rise, it's going to be a better community for everyone. Tell us a little bit more then too about Catherine, the other recipient. Um, Catherine Gale is um, a, a local girl, a family business, Gale Foods, and she has been in many different areas in the country, um, as well as in the private and the public sector. And in each of her positions across that time, she has been able to promote um, community spirit, spirit, awareness, and allowed her generosity with her business and caring about her employees to shine through. And we understand the winner receives a piece of art? Correct. Um, starting with that first award in 1982, um, the spirit has been to also foster a local woman artist. So each year we commission three pieces of art specifically in the image of Chicago Wea. Um, two go to the winners and one goes to the Professional Dimensions art collection which is housed at Alverno and is open to the public. It's the only art collection um, inspired by Chicago Wea in the country. 
That is so cool. Wow, what, you got a lot of fun stuff going on. Your event, this reception, um, as well as the dinner, is on Thursday, March 10th at the Pfister Hotel. The pre-event reception begins at 4.30, then dinner's at 6.30. For more information about your organization, Professional Dimensions, to find out more about this wonderful event and the recognition that these two uh, outstanding women in our community are going to be receiving, you can go to professionaldimensions.org. You can also call this phone number. It's 414 374 3570. Great to meet you. Thanks Thank for you. sharing it's been your lovely. stories. Appreciate it.